Let's do it. Miracle Pressure Watch to come in at you with another miracle. Hey, man, so I got my boy d with me today. Boy, we finna rock out. Y'all already know. So we degreasing everything down real good. We're going to hit all those dirt areas that's clogged up with that dirt. We're going to hit it up real good with that degrease. is going to cut it up, break it down, and then we're going to come back with a power rinse over everything. I already did the roof. I didn't give you guys no content on the roof. I'm sorry about that, but I do it from the top to the bottom. We hit the roof real good. Then when we hit the roof, we come down, we hit it, degrease everything. We get all the dirt broken down real good. Then we're going to give it a good power rinse, you guys. So this is going to be a video y'all going to want to stay tuned on because we're going to we rocking out on this one. I'm talking about y'all want to see the end results and how we get there. I'm going to break everything down to y'all um, from the beginning to the end. So I got my boy. Deshaun with me for Mirror. His, the name of his company is Mirror Finish Detailing. Mirror Finish Detailing. And we rinsing everything down right here, you guys. But yeah, man, he up and coming. Very detailed individual. I'm talking about he five. Y'all get with him. He on Instagram at Mirror Finish Detailing. Y'all hit him up, man. My boy Deshaun. So right here, I'm just rinsing all the dirt. Rinsing everything down real good. Then we're going to use, uh, I got a good foam wax soap. We're going to foam it down real good with a wax soap. That's going to clean it up real good. That's going to get it down to its original paint. And then we're going to be doing a spray wax on this one, you guys. We're going to be doing a spray wax on this one. So y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to give y'all this video from beginning to end, man. Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. So right here. Like I say, we rinsing everything down real good. After we rinse everything, we're going to come back. We're going to foam everything down. He want the tires. He want tire shine. All the tire walls clean. He want the windows, mirror. He want everything. It's going to be a full detail, you guys. It's going to be a full detail. It wasn't terrible. I think he said he got it waxed probably like eight, nine months ago. But we're going to get it back. This is my first time waxing them. Um... You know, after my first time, I try to put you on a maintenance plan and try to get around to you like every six to seven, eight months and clean you up real good on the RVs. That's what we try to get back around to you like six to seven, eight months. And then we come back and do it again, you guys. So right here, I'm just degreasing everything down to it and let my boy get some of that rinse and rinsing everything off real good. And then we're going to do what it do, you guys. Hey, man, I miss y'all, man. I've been, uh, I've been trying to get this work, man. I've been trying to get that work. I've been slow. Business has been a little slow, but it's all good. Glory to God. It's all good. I already know where when we do get it. I had a parking garage, and um, I started on the parking garage, and I end up not doing the country. I end up not finishing the job because... It was a couple of things that we didn't really agree to. It was seven floors. I had did like a floor and a half. Um, I ain't even do. I ain't even get no content off of it, man. But um, it was a lot of things that we just was in disagreement with, and it just ain't work out. You know, um, they wanted a lot of work done. I just was telling them, you know, basically I'm a pressure washer. I really don't do the cleaning part and. The, all the extra stuff we got to get some more companies to do that part you know and it just ain't work out but it's all good though it's all good you know so hey on to the next one man on to the next one hey, it be like that some some you win some you don't so um we end up just getting a little deposit off the work that we did and then we closed out on that one man so good luck to whoever picked up that job man good luck to you man um so right here like i say we rinsing everything down, and then we're going to come back. we foaming. My boy foaming everything down real good. That foam thick, too. Look. Ooh-wee. That foam thick. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Clean that thing up. Look how that foam just sit. It just sit on there. Oh, yeah. That foam thick. Look at it. Oh, yeah. And then he foam everything. I come right behind him, washing everything down real good. I come behind him, washing everything till he foam. When he foam everything, I either hit the bottom and he'll hit the high points and we'll go all the way, all the way around the same way. I think I try to do one side at a time. When you got big RVs, I try to do one side at a time. So we did the front 
and the side and then we did the back and then we did the other side so like i say when you're doing big vehicles you can't foam the whole rv oops <laughs> and that happened to me all the time this shot it's all good but yeah man you can't foam the home the whole rv um and then wash it at the same time so i'm washing low with the mitt and my boy hitting all the high points and we're gonna do this we're gonna um he hitting all the high points and we're gonna go all the way around just like that the same thing same routine you guys this good, man, because I haven't dropped, um, I don't think I dropped the RV in a long time, man. And people be asking, like, how do you wash an RV? Actually, man, I'm going to be honest. It's the same way you I wash a car, man. It's just a bigger version. It's just a bigger version, man. You know, and we just take our time and hit every area, man. We just take our time hit every area at the end you're gonna have to dry every area and then you're just gonna have to you know just don't miss nothing that's it you just gotta be detailed with it man and that's it that's how i do it i do the same steps as we do a car you see how my boy up hitting the high points we hit everything man we hit everything it's important man you know so that's how i do rvs it's the same y'all felt foam wash dry spray come around at the end after i've been undid everything and just detail everything at the end i hit all the rubble all the vinyl all the tires all the windows and we do a full full detail i mean we could do a it's a different package that i do different packages when it comes to rvs like if it's more of a type um of mobile home type rvs that has like green algae you know that nature i can do it just like <clears throat> just like we doing a house wash i can down screen the sh and kill all of the green the algae and then we could come back and wash it you know um some 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 sometimes i do just a straight like i'm doing a house wash i downstream everything through the um system and then I just give it a good, 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 good rinse. So when you, I'm doing mobile homes, we definitely wash them just like regular houses. But you're doing certain RVs, we can do it like a house wash as well and just rinse everything real good. You know, and when you're doing a house, you don't, you don't dry a house. <laughs> so I, I do it just like we're doing a house wash, you guys. But right here, we're doing the same thing, washing. And then we're going to come back and we're going to rinse everything and the spray wax that I'm using. So what we do is after we um, wash, we rinse everything real good. And then when we rinse, we come back and we spray the spray wax on every part of the RV. Um, I use I'm using a McGuire spray wax. Um, once you apply it on the RV then it activates when you're rinsing it so once i come back and rinse it again that activates the the um the spray wax and then we just come back and we use a dry micro clean microfabric cloth towels and we dry everything after that so those are the steps you guys so right here i'm rinsing after we clean after we cleaned everything i'm rinsing everything then we're gonna come back and we're gonna, my boy gonna start applying the um, spray wax while the, v, while the RV is still wet. So when I rinse, he's gonna come back and apply behind me the spray wax. And then it's gonna, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rinse again with a power rinse and we're gonna activate the spray wax. And then we're gonna detail it, dry, hitting it with microfabric cloths. And then we're going to see how it turn out. That's it. So right here, like I say, see this, how he finishing up on the back end and I'm starting to rinse all. I'm coming through with the rinse. And then he's going to start at the beginning of the RV. He's going to start applying the, um, the spray wax. And that's it, man. That's how we do it, man. Step by step. I tell you, I tell y'all that the, the RVs, they not hard. It's just they're big. That's it. It's just they're big, and it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. But if you got a good, the right system, 
and you got the right people working on it, you know, they say they take it take them two, two, three days to do it or some a full whole day to do it. I think this RV took us probably I say two and a half hours. Yeah, about two and a half hours we was out of here. So um see I'm at the back rinsing everything and then he, he got the spray wax. He gonna get a ladder and he gonna start spray waxing everything. But yeah, I think we took we um started probably like 10, 10 a.m. I think by 12, 30, 1 o'clock, we was wrapping it up, man. We was wrapping it up, and we had them, you know, cut the little check, and that was it, man. You know, when, you, you, when you're doing jobs like this, you just have to charge because it's a lot of work. Don't get it twisted. When we got here, we started working, and we, we worked them whole two and a half hours nonstop. No smoke breaks, no nothing. So you see he, is, he applying the, the wax. And then I, after I finish rinsing everything, I come back and activate it. And we do that all the way around. All the way around, you guys. See, I'm in the back. He in the front spraying everything. And then I come and activate the wax that he sprayed. And that's it. That's how we do it, man. I had to drop some content for y'all. I've been missing in action. Like I say, um, work been kind of slow for me. It still ain't picked up, but it's all good. Like I say, we depend on God over here, you know, and it will come in. We, and we will keep grinding over here. We won't stop, man. You don't work, you don't eat. <laughs> Men don't work, you don't eat, you guys. You got to work, man. Even when you're not working, you still got to find you some work to do. Always, you got to find you something to do, man. But yeah, you see, so he 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 steady spraying. I'm gonna come back to the front, and we hit all all we hit everything. We hit all the areas. I had to record him a little bit for his um put some some work on his social media. Got to put it on there, Deshaun. Yeah, blessings to you, brother. Blessings to you, God. Bless you and your family, man. Prosperity over there, man. You gonna prosper, bro. Just keep pushing keep grinding god got something for you bro keep pushing keep grinding this thing don't just crank up like that you gotta start from the bottom and work your way up once people see that good work ethic that you got man you're gonna make it a long way bro because you do do you do good work bro and that's real now that's from me to you man keep grinding man you got this bro god got you bro for real just keep grinding you got a good support team behind you man start from the bottom Keep your, your business, stay focused on your business, man. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody sidetrack you. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do this. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do that because you can, bro. If God gave you a vision, push towards it, man, and it can happen, man. And that's all I'm going to tell you, Deshaun, for real, bro. Just grind, bro, and it'll happen for real. I ain't get here by, you know, not grinding you gotta grind it's gonna you it's gonna take it's gonna be times where you're gonna be slow like like i'm saying my slow season been right now but guess what i'm still grinding i'm out here passing out flyers cards every day daily man talking to people networking you just gotta keep going you guys so i'm activating the um the um spray wax right now he's almost to the back i'm almost to the, the um, i'm working on the side working my way to the back I'm activating it, and then once he get done spraying everything all the way to the back, he's going to come get on the ladder and start applying it into the paint, applying everything with the microfabric cloth and with the towel. And then that's how we're going to do it. And then we're going to come back at the end and just detail everything. So that's how we do it. So when you're doing it with a car, it's the same steps, you guys. I rinse everything first. I foam everything. If I have to use the greaser or um, something to break down the, 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 the brake dust in your tires, I hit all that first. And then I come back and power rinse everything. And then we foam it, foam. Then we wash. Then we dry it. And then we'll, no, we don't dry. If we're doing a spray wax, we don't dry. We wash it and then rinse and then put the spray wax on it while it's wet and then we rinse everything and then come back and dry so so um 
the 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 spray wax that I use is remember it it's a Maguire spray wax. It's activated through water. The water activates it. So the car doesn't have to be the car, the RV or whatever you're doing, it don't have to be dry. It has to be wet. So that activates it. So yeah, and that's what we're doing all the way around, y'all see? And I'm gonna come back and show y'all um after we done applying it, drying, and then detailing. I'm gonna come back and show y'all the end results. See y'all how this thing turned out. Y'all stay tuned. That was another customer right there. He wanted me to come check out an RV right next door. That's why I said you get in these communities. All you gotta do is get in here and do good work, man. And it's gonna happen, you guys. It's gonna happen, for real, I'm telling you. It's gonna happen. So Deshaun starting to um, dry everything off and applying everything. He's gonna hit the high areas and I hit the, the low areas, and we'll work our way all the way around like that, just like that. You got a two-man team, boy, you can make it happen. I'm telling you, two-man team, you can make it happen for real. And I remember it was a once upon a time, I used to do these RVs by myself, and that's on everything. You can ask my wife. I used to do... Some tech days, two, three. I done did I done did two and three RVs in a day and come back the next day and do two and three more RVs. And I was stuck, like literally, I was stuck in um over there four corners Lake Magic. I mean, um is it was that Lake Magic R V um park or something um magic? Something like that over there off four corners, man. I was stuck over there. Probably like three months. Three months. <clears throat> I had two this day, two the next day, one the next day, one the next day. Sometimes I was working seven days a week. I'm telling y'all, them RVs was my hit for a while. I'm talking about a while. So you can get in these RV parks, man, and you do a good job. And I'm telling you, you're going to get referred to the neighbor. Around the corner, they're going to come see how clean it is. Somebody else going to call you. People going to walk up to you. Can you do me next? When can you put me on the schedule? It was just, it was crazy. And at that point, like I say, I was working by myself. Um, oh, actually, I did have my boy Matt. Y'all know, that's still my boy. I still deal with him. He just busy at the time. He a mechanic too, so Matt don't got a lot of work going on right now. But yeah, I did have Matt. Matt start coming in towards the um the later end of me doing those rvs but at first i was doing them by myself man i'm telling you i was working eight seven eight hours a day doing rvs by myself and um of course it wasn't spray wax you know they were just regular wash and some of them wasn't that bad some of them was bad you know on the ones that was bad i may only do one a day because it may take me four or five hours to do it but i always did one every day sometimes two if it wasn't bad i did i don't remember myself doing three a day like a couple times like i ain't talking about like one or two i'm talking about like five six times i remember doing three rvs in one day grinding i'm talking about grinding for real but yeah man um that's how it is when you get in these RV parts, though. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's money to be made in these RV parts, man. So if you're thinking about investing in some equipment and doing RV wash, you can't go wrong. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong, especially if you're doing waxing, buffing, if you're doing ceramic, if you're doing um, sealing the, the roof. Like, it's a lot to do with RVs, man, but you just have to do everything the correct way and use the correct product. But um, I'm telling you, it's some money to be made in these RVs. I, I'm telling y'all, I promise, like, them them three months, I on everything I love, I can remember bringing in probably um, 
at least about 20. I'm telling you, I can remember bringing about 20. Them three months, I brought in 20 bands, I'm telling you. It was good. It was real good. And um, I end up, after I end up doing that, I went back into um, doing houses, and I kind of slowed up on it. So, But, yeah, I still get calls for doing RVs, and I slide them in into my schedule with um, with my pressure washing, but I'm not on them fully like I used to be. Um, I was full-time doing RV work at that time, so now I'm back to pressure washing, but at the same time, I still do those calls. If I get calls for RVs, I still get up and do them. So y'all already know I don't discriminate. Boy, if I got to do it, I'm going to get up and go do it. <laughs> y'all already know, man. So y'all can still call me. If you got them RVs, y'all can look at that thing, how it's shining. Ooh, wee. Yeah, y'all can still call Miracle Pressure Washing, and we'll get you in the game, man. I'm telling you, I have you looking right. I have you looking right. Y'all just hit us up. We'll take care of you, man. And we don't hit nobody in the head. We don't do no damage like that, man. Our prices ain't crazy, but we do have to get paid. We do have to get paid, you guys. We do have to feed those children. The children got to eat. So it is what it is. So right here, after we do this, we go around. I had already did the other side, by the way. Um, we did the other side first. So after we do this, we come around. I hit all the windows. We do the window cleaning. And then we do the tires. We hit all the tires. And then this this the end result. Look at it. Woo! Woo! I'm talking about it. For real. Look at that thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how we do it. Look at it. Ooh. Wee. What they said? What they said? Miracle what? Oh, yeah. I still do it now. Don't get it twisted from top to bottom. Top to bottom. Oh, yeah. We don't miss no spots. None. None whatsoever. Spray wax. We don't miss no spots. Y'all call us up. 404-862-3378. 404-862-3378. Y'all hit us up, man. Let's do it. Central Florida, we'll get to you. You know we will. Let us do the miracle. Oh, yeah. We do miracles. That thing look good. That's what I'm talking about. From the beginning to the end, this side we had already hit, y'all. I ain't have to show y'all this side because I show. Ooh, look at that bottom down there. Ooh, glass house. Glass house. Oh, yeah. That's it, man. God bless y'all, man. Like and subscribe. Let's do it.